This is dedicated to a great friend of ours and colleague, Nadia. Runner's Garden here. I uh, just finished uh, a half marathon of, uh, not a race, but uh, just in training. I did uh, 4.3 miles outside in the heat of Taiwan and came back and did 13.9K on the treadmill, which brings me to exactly 13 miles. So pretty happy about that. A full entire mini pretzel Snyder's of Hanover bag, Magua Jinko, product of the U.S. Practice getting uh, forms of salt on the, the long runs. I burned off well over a thousand calories according to my treadmill. Uh, last night I had, you know, I had these pretzels just sitting around. I'm, I'm trying to keep to a good, good diet. I'm trying to eat a lot of fruit in the morning, a lot of vegetables in the afternoon, and then a, a starch at night. But uh, last night I got a little bit of a craving, and even though I'm cutting down on dairy, I did have a little uh, milk last night with the pretzels. Now let me explain, and mom, you will understand this. I have not had pretzel soup for a long time. So uh, let me tell everybody what that is. So you, uh, you get a saucepan, uh, fill it about this much <laughs> uh, with milk, and you know, throw your, throw your pretzels in there, and just a little slab of butter. You just let it, uh, let it boil and come to a simmer, and, and just the uh, milk will, will foam up. And then uh, you know, just let it cool off and, and eat it. That's, that's, that's it, lickety split. It's uh, really fast. And what happens to the pretzels, it, the pretzels will soften. It's almost like uh, a hard noodle or something. You know, it's salty. It's, I don't know, I love this stuff. I'm going to show you a little bit of what I'm doing outside. What I'm doing with the tomato plants here right now is I'm taking out the uh, suckers. So anytime there's a joint, I think I got most of the ones that I wanted to take off. But, uh, well, for example, let's see, right, right here, I would pull, if there was one here, I'd pull that off yeah, all over the plants. So we've got some flowering at the top. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to take these guys in because another typhoon is coming. So I'll take all these plants and I'll put them down here on the, the tile behind the wall. Probably leave that sweet potato plant up there and take my solar panels down to get ready for this one. It does has, have the potential of becoming a, a big storm. I got these dishes from uh, Ikea. They come in all different colors. There's an orange one out there. Upstairs I got red, purple. When I first started having my container garden, I kind of skimped out and I didn't put anything under the plants. And as you can see, dirt comes out and then it just goes over the edge there and stains the side of the house. So don't be like me. So get something under your pots to uh, catch the, the water that goes through there. It's our kitchen window. And we've been having, let me open it up here. We have a screen. Oh, jeez. Oh, hard to open. Okay, so we have a screen, but uh, we found that we had kind of an ant problem. So we had another screen installed, and we still had the ant problem. They're still coming through the screen. So uh, I read up on it, and what I was supposed to do is remove any bushes that are actually touching the house. So I cut this all back here. I made sure that no uh, plant was touching the wall here or the window or the grating. So I gave myself a clearance of about a good foot. And I also read that coffee grounds are good to keep ants away. Ants will not, according to this book, cross a path of coffee grounds. So I'm starting, you can see the black stuff there. I'm starting to little by little work my way across the, uh, the whole window area here. So I got the coffee ground idea from this book, Dr. Bader's Pest Cures. I'm reading backwards. Natural solutions to things that bug you. And then on the back here it says, uh, all natural bug and critter elimination 
the number one book in the world on natural pest control. No dangerous chemicals to damage the environment. As seen on TV. All right, so uh, I really enjoy. I got this from my dad, so thanks, Dad. And I really enjoyed this. And you can see, maybe, how much I have earmarked certain pages for uh, that, I, you know, I thought were good ideas. One of the things that I'm going to start planting more of, and I do have this upstairs, is mint. Mint is a, it seems, according to this, it's a really great way to keep pests away. So you can put mint next to other other plants to keep the bugs off of them. So uh, there's lots of great stuff in here. There's uh, quite a few errors, and sometimes he actually repeats paragraphs again, but I'm just used to it now. <laughs> Dr. Bader's Pest Cures. Yes, I'm using a tissue as a bookmark. And no, that apple soda right there is not mine. Uh, it's for our mid-autumn festival celebration plan. We're going to have a party.